Today, let's join the world around us to learn about the top 6 largest herds in the world today. Ranked 6, Red-billed Quelia Bird. The red-billed Quelia is the most numerous wild bird in the world. When gathered in large flocks, red-billed Quelia birds can cause damage to crops, similar to the damage caused by locust swarms. Quelia mainly feeds on the seeds of annual grasses, but also causes widespread damage to cereal crops. Therefore, it is sometimes called the feathered locust of Africa. Common pest control measures are spraying termites or exploding firebombs in huge colonies during the night. Widespread control measures have largely been unsuccessful in limiting Quelia's population. When food is depleted, the species migrates to locations with recent rainfall and abundant grass, therefore it exploits its food source very effectively. It is considered the most numerous non-domesticated bird on Earth, with its total post-breeding population sometimes peaking at an estimated 1.5 billion individuals. It feeds in huge flocks of millions of individuals, with birds running out of food at the back flying through the flock to new feeding areas at the front, creating the appearance of a rolling cloud. Red-billed quellias are elaborate nest makers, perhaps the most elaborate of all nest types, although a few species are notable for their selective parasitic breeding habits. Their nests depend on the species and vary in shape, size, material, and nesting method. Nesting materials can be small leaf fibers, grass, and small twigs. Many species weave beautiful nests using thin filaments from leaf veins, although some, like the dragonfly, make large, rickety nests of small sticks in their flock, with there are several woven spherical nests. The red-billed quellia in Africa builds room house-like nests, in which 100 to 300 pairs have separate, neck-shaped rooms that they enter through pipes at the bottom. Most nesting species have narrow entrances that turn slightly downward. Ranked 5 Road Herring Gathering in schools is a common characteristic of fish species. However, herring is the species with the largest number of fish concentrated in schools among fish species. According to researchers, the number of fish in a school of herring can reach tens of millions, covering tens of square kilometers. Fish live in large groups to limit the risk of being eaten or concentrate during spawning time. Herring is a type of fish similar to apricot fish but larger, with greenish skin, small bones, long, thin body, and two equal jaws. Fish have small or missing teeth, thin round scales that fall off easily, some species have comb scales, and the fish's abdominal spine has serrated teeth. Herring have the habit of migrating in large flocks. Herring lives in surface water, usually has no hiding place, has an elongated body, normally developed even fins, a strong tail, and swims quickly. In nature, herring are prey fish for predators such as seabirds, dolphins, sea lions, whales, sharks, tuna, cod, salmon, and other large fish. Herring, in particular, is a rich source of food for bald eagles. Herrings are one of the groups of small bony fish that survived the extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period, and they still exist today in marine environments. Fossil herring in the western United States where the three states of Colorado, Utah, and Nevada meet. In Vietnam, fishermen often call the herring species they catch by unique names. Accordingly, there are two types of herring, red herring and false herring. The herring is flat, has many blue-white scales, white meat, fragrant, fatty but has many bones. Mistaken herring is round, has less scales, and has more meat, but the meat is red and not as delicious as herring. Ranked 4 Stone, Australian Red Crab. During the rainy season, flocks of millions of red crabs on Christmas Island, Australia, migrate to the sea to start a new breeding season. The migratory journey of red crabs will start from the forests of Christmas Island to the Indian Ocean coast. The number of red crabs in migratory crab herds can range from 40 million to 120 million. During the red crab migration season, signs prohibiting roads for vehicles and pedestrians are placed in many places in the area. The ancient inhabitants of Christmas Island rarely mentioned this crab. It is possible that the current extremely large population of red crabs is a result of the McClear rat, the factor that limited the red crab population, becoming extinct. The survey found an average of 0.09 to 0.57 adult red crabs per square meter, giving the total number of red crabs across Christmas Island to be around 43.7 million. Some other estimates estimate that 120 million red crabs exist on Christmas Island, but there is no clear evidence.
The exploding population of the ant Anaplolopus gracilipes, as an invasive species, which was accidentally introduced to Christmas Island, has had a negative impact on the red crab population on the island. It is estimated that about 10-15 million red crabs, accounting for one-third to one-quarter of the total number of red crabs, have been destroyed by a gracilipes ants recently. In total, about 15-20 million red crabs were wiped out from Christmas Island by a gracilipes ants. In October to December every year, when it starts to rain, red crabs migrate on a large scale to the coast to reproduce. Each crab must cross a distance of 8 kilometers within 9 to 18 days. The reason they can travel such a long distance is because when it comes to the breeding season, crabs secrete a lot of crustacean hypoglycemic hormone, CHH, to help increase the amount of glucose in the blood, ensuring enough energy for them. Long journey. When reaching the coast, female crabs will mate with male crabs in burrows that have been dug by the male, and after mating, female crabs will continue to crawl out to sea to lay eggs. Contrary to other land crabs on the island, red crabs are the only crustaceans whose males accompany their females on their migration to the sea. Ranked 3th, Krill Shrimp. Krill shrimp are small crustaceans that live in large schools. The density of individuals in a herd can reach 10,000 to 30,000 individuals per cubic meter. They can be found in every ocean in the world, but the largest population of krill shrimp is found in Antarctic waters. The size of a giant krill shrimp colony is usually about 10 kilometers long and 30 meters deep. Although krill shrimp are small, they are extremely important to the survival of the ocean and are concentrated in the largest numbers in Antarctic waters. Overexploitation of krill not only severely reduces ocean biodiversity, but also affects marine fish stocks and the world's fishing industry. Krill float by the force of water currents, using swimming legs shaped like hairs to adjust the direction and filter food from seawater, as well as eat algae in the ice during winter and winter months. Spring. Although individual krill shrimp are small, unimpressive, and vulnerable in dangerous, predator-filled ocean environments, giant schools of krill shrimp are a vital link in the marine food chain. Converting plankton cells into energy suitable for many animals that rely on them to survive. The list of such animals is considerable, from tiny fish, to seabirds, to the largest fish alive today on Earth, the blue whale. This giant fish can eat 2,500 kilograms of krill per day. Ranked 2th, Argentine ant. Recently, scientists discovered a huge colony of Argentine ants with a number of ants that could cover almost the entire globe. The largest ant colonies can stretch nearly 6,000 kilometers along the Mediterranean coast. Argentine ant, scientific name Linophthema humile, is a species of ant native to Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay. It is an invasive species in many Mediterranean climate regions of the world such as South Africa, New Zealand, Japan, Easter Island, Australia, Hawaii, Europe, and the United States, where it kills other native ant species and spread. Argentine ants are different in that they do not attack each other when not in the same nest like other ant species. In a nest, you can see many queen ants that other ant species do not have, and it can be said that this is how they succeed in killing each other. Invade the habitat of native insects. Argentine ants have been able to spread worldwide because they have two characteristics that differentiate them from other subtropical ants. Firstly, they can survive cold winters in deep underground caves. Second, they are also extremely aggressive and strong. Common ants live together very peacefully. Even when looking for food, they try to make friends with each other. But Argentine ants are a very stubborn species. Wherever they go, they will continuously attack local ant nests there. They destroy the nests of native ant species, expelling or killing the ants living in that nest. In each raid like this, Argentine ants mobilize tens of thousands of strong and aggressive ants to participate. Therefore, Every step forward by Argentine ants will cause native ants to retreat, except for honey ants. Ranked 1th, Grasshopper. Swarms of millions of locusts are a nightmare for farmers. Many locust swarms even have trillions of locusts. One of the records for giant locust swarms was recorded in North America in 1875. The size of this locust swarm is estimated to be about 500,000 km too equivalent to the area of California, USA. There are about 12.5 trillion locusts. 
the record for the largest swarm in the animal world belongs to grasshoppers. In East Africa in early 2020, a cloud of desert locusts swept across the sky, spanning thousands of square kilometers. It was like a black blanket covering the sky, so dense that it was difficult to see the clouds, described researcher Emily Kamabi at the Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology in Kenya. That particular event was the largest swarm observed in the Horn of Africa in 25 years. Experts estimate that they congregate at a density of about 50 million locusts per square kilometer, meaning that a single locust swarm would contain about 200 billion locusts. Desert locusts are known for their ability to reproduce very quickly, able to increase in number 20 times over a three-month period. 200 billion is a staggering number, but data from the past shows that locust swarms can grow much larger under ideal environmental conditions. In 1875, a meteorologist named Albert Child was stunned to see grasshoppers streaking across the sky in a giant swarm that covered much of the western United States. The species is the Rocky Mountain grasshopper, and Albert estimates it covers an area of 512,800 square kilometers. This historical event is today also known as Albert's Locust Swarm. Based on meteorologist estimates, their number could be as high as 3.5 trillion. This is believed to be the largest number of animals in a herd that humans have ever recorded.